Hello and welcome to another episode of the MMK Show. MMK stands for Megla, Margaret, and Kevin. We're still waiting for RK to join us. He's having some technical issues. But today's show is brought to you by Gatita, who are our partner of the month of March. And we've got with us Yoni from Gatita to talk about this really new, exciting feature that Gatita has launched recently called Docmaster. That's um, Margaret thinks it's a great thinks it's a game changer. <laughs> so we're really we excited to hear all about that. <laughs> so Yoni, welcome to the show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Uh... Uh, while Kevin is trying to get in, uh, you can call me Kony. So it's going to be MMK so for Megla, <laughs> Margaret, and Kony until uh, Kevin comes in, if you need. Uh, yeah, that that sounds good. Let's let's go with Kony, <laughs> or we could change it to MMY Show temporarily. <laughs> yeah, there you got it. Awesome. Okay, so Yoni, for those of uh, the audience out there who maybe don't know you, do you want to give a quick introduction and tell people about yourself and? Uh, how you got involved with Gatita in the first place. Yeah, sure thing. So I'll start from a little bit about Gatita, but then uh, the story that led to Gatita. So I'm the, one of the co-founders and chief growth officer of Gatita. Effectively, we're a technology company, and our mission is to help Amazon sellers get the maximum FBA reimbursements that they're eligible to receive. So typically what happens is when you connect to Gatita, we're able to go back 18 months and all the data and all the FBA transactions and um, catch any issues with uh, inventory that got lost, damaged, destroyed, disappeared, disposed, or overcharged with fees. So our technology catches the issue, but then our team will handle the, um, the, the data and open cases with Amazon and all the back and forth until there's a resolution, uh, hopefully uh, also in the format of a reimbursement if they're eligible. So that's kind of high, high level of the mission and what we do with Gatita. But Gatita was actually born um, from our activity as Amazon sellers. So um, about 10 years ago, we started selling online. Back in the day, eBay was the main agenda for us, the main platform. But then uh, in around 2013, we started selling on Amazon and the business grew very, very quickly from zero to 20 million in FBA sales. Then we became a part of a larger group that together as a group, we were doing about 100 million in FBA sales. And what happened was our spreadsheets were breaking because we have so much data that we needed to process. So that pushed us to create software and technology so we can handle all the data, but also create a dedicated team to manage all the back and forth with Amazon. So effectively, we created this solution for ourselves, right? And then what happened was we kind of told our friends from the industry that we have these, these capabilities. So they told us, help us, we'll pay you. And they were the early adapters and users of Gatita back in th uh, 2015 and 16. Um, and then over the years, the Gatita just grew to a degree um, and organically because the model is very convenient because we it's free to join Gatita and it's free to stay with Gatita. We only charge a fee based on performance. So over the years, it was kind of growing very nicely. So we decided to cash out of retail and focus all of our energy and motivation, skill and creativity and helping other sellers. And from that point on, I would say that we probably kind of took a leadership in, the, in this little uh, niche, uh, the niche of Amazon FBA auditing and reimbursements. Today, we have a team of over 115 people in six countries. We audit uh, billions of dollars worth of transactions every day um, with an authorized solution provided by Amazon. That's kind of in a nutshell, you know, what Gatita is, the mission, the purpose, how it was born. I also have kind of slides to give a bit more intro into the world of FBA auditing and reimbursements, which will lead to a, a demo demonstration. We're going to open up a dashboard for you guys to give you a demo and actually kind of uh, for the first time, actually uh, roll out and, and expose to you guys to a new feature, the Doc Master, uh, which is a little bit of a game changer that helps to uh, to recover even more funds and do it uh, with saving a lot of uh, time and, and, and pain, basically. That's awesome. So we are so lucky and we're honored that you're going to be talking about Docmaster for the first time on our platform. So super excited about that. So, OK, let's get into it. And guys watching, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the comments. Yoni's here to answer any questions that you might have. So do you want to share your slides? Yep. Let me uh, go yep. ahead and do that. Let's do that. All right. So let's see share here. Um, share screen, right? And then yep. I'm just making sure that I get it the right way. And OK, you guys see yep. it? We see, yeah, yep. we see it. Perfect. So a uh, quick uh, slide presentation uh, for, to introduction to uh, FBA reimbursements. Um, you know, a little bit about Gatita, a bit more, actually. Uh, it was Gatita, is it Gatita, is it Gitara? How to say the name? Doesn't really matter. It's just an acronym. It stands for Get Idea, which is Get Intelligent Data Analytics. Uh, like I mentioned, we're a global leader. Uh, we actually op operate on a global level. So whether you sell on Amazon US, Canada, Mexico, UK, EU, we can help you there as well. We won the Gold Award from the American Business Award for our dashboard technology. 
Uh, we have a dedicated team of claim specialists. A big part of them are former Amazon employees who used to work uh, in Amazon's reimbursements department. We track and monitor our recovery rate. Right now it's over 70%, which means for every uh, four cases that we open, uh, for the most part, three uh, cases will get uh, reimbursed. Um, and we also, uh, we take a lot of pride in hosting a lot of events like this one, right? Uh, and also being the, you know, a sponsor and partner of the month for, uh, you know, the India sourcing, uh, uh, show. So, um, uh, if you want to learn about more events and check it out, just visit getita.com forward slash events. Uh, in addition to all that, we also have two podcast shows. <laughs> We're very friendly people, I guess. Uh, one of them is, uh, you can check out, uh, it's called prime talk at getita.com forward slash podcast. I happen to host this program. There's another program that's hosted by our CMO, Rob Stanley. It's called Selenomics. You can just visit selenomics.com and kind of discover more about um, actually the people behind the industry of e-commerce. It's very interesting to see what beautiful talent and creative people are in the industry. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, we like to, ma to make our solutions affordable for sellers of any size at any stage, whether you're a newbie or you're doing hundreds of millions a year in revenue. It's free to join Gatita. It's free to stay with Gatita. We only charge a fee based on recovery. Um, that's, so that's a little bit about, uh, about us. Of course, uh, we're not. We're, uh, you can find this also on the Amazon App Store because we're an authorized uh, solution provider by Amazon. You can also find this on Amazon SPN. And now I want to actually, with your permission, um, touch a little bit about, about the recent updates from the marketplace. I think it's very important that you know the people here in the community, uh, Megla's and Kevin's and Margaret's uh, community, uh, with the India Sourcing Show, should know about. Okay, so this is the first one. Let me know if there's any questions, ladies. Uh, if Kevin is still there, or or is he back? I can't see anything. I think I Kevin, see my slides. Yeah, Kevin is not yet back, but he's. Oh yeah, there he is. Yeah, Kevin is back now. <laughs> okay, so, so MMK but team, no, let's. Uh, yeah. Yes. No questions so far. I'll keep an eye can on the questions. And, uh, yeah, yes, we sir. can hear you, Kev. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So okay. All right. So uh, effective April first, which is probably a week uh, next week, starting next week. Um, Amazon gave it this uh, heads up notice to sellers. So I'm gonna read a little bit. If you send canceled or deleted shipments to Amazon, your shipment may be rejected or your ability to send us additional shipments may also be suspended. Okay, so all, you can read more about this later, but basically what is this all mean is that sometimes, you know, uh, many sellers actually, they want to ship, uh, let's say you want to ship a thousand units to Amazon, to FBA, they might tell you, okay, 400 units sent to place A, 300 units shipped to place B, another 100 units to uh, place that, and then eight units to that place. And then these eight units, you don't want to create a shipment and a whole box and whatever, so you never ship it, or you cancel it, or you delete that little shipment, so Amazon's telling you no more. If you do that, uh, your shipment might be rejected or we're going to even suspend your ability to ship us any products. So because a lot of sellers are playing around with Amazon's module and their their algorithm. And so basically Amazon's telling you, we expect you to sell, uh, ship all these units to all these places. Don't mess it up. If you will, if you if you do it, mess up, mess uh, mess with us. We basically, you might revoke you, suspend your ability to set, uh, ship us a uh, uh, product. So uh, this is the warning. They gave everybody a, a fail for a warning. You see, you get some examples here. Delete shipping plans after you approve them. Uh, misrouting shipments, sending incomplete shipments, such as shipments that are canceled or deleted status. In other words, don't play games with Amazon. Whatever you're telling me you're about to ship, you better ship because if you don't, it's not going to end well for you. So this is the fair warning. I think it's very important that everybody should know this ahead of time so they don't get trapped with this. Uh, be very, very meticulous. So if you're working with the 3PL, make sure they're well aware of this. And if you had any issues with uh, you know, shipping uh, all the units that you declared that you're going to ship, make sure that you have it unlocked and now. Uh, questions about this, uh, this one? So how how strict are Amazon with implementing this? Because they've had this policy for some time, right? But are they like no, no, no. they haven't really, implemented really... this. This is coming effect uh, okay. next week, April first. Uh, okay. It's uh, it's not an April Fool's joke. Let's put it this way. They're really <laughs> yeah. gonna implement this. I don't think they're joking around. So we're not yeah. test them. So yeah, there's a little bit more time. So Amazon basically gave a few weeks. Uh, they actually released this, released this in January. So it gave uh, yeah. the sellers more, more than two months to kind of prepare. But this is the moment, guys. So if you're watching this. Uh, yeah, you're watching this ahead of time. Make sure you're ready because uh, I don't want anybody to, to gonna be affected by this uh, uh, for no reason. Yeah, so what happens in case a shipment is late? I'm just curious because, you know, w with the current situation, the logistics it's not late. situation. Late is not an issue. Late, late is not an okay. issue. They're telling you. Okay. Typically what, is, what happens is, once again, you tell them I'll have 1,000 units for the shipment. I want to ship all these 1,000 units to Amazon's fulfillment center. Then Amazon, what happens is they, they, they start telling you, okay, split these thousand units to all these locations yeah. so if they tell you to split it you split it you don't play games you don't split uh if they tell you to split it to five locations you don't only send to four of them four out of five or three out of five you have to send five out of five because if you don't they're mm -hmm. going to strike you that's what pretty much what it means 
Okay. And I'll make it more simple. I'll make it more simple. It's, you want to ship a thousand units? They tell you ship 900 units here and 100 units there. She so said, no, let me ship the 900 units. The 100 units there, I don't want to ship it. Or you cancel or you delete it. No, and that's when you're going to get striked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's and I think, so, yeah, yeah there's that new box inventory placement service that they've started doing as well. Uh, and I think a lot of people are going to just think, oh, well, I'm not going to do that because you don't get a choice um, now when you're just doing a simple shipment. It's never happened to me before with just from my 3PL into Amazon. I'd always get just up the road from the 3PL. Now I'm getting three different locations all over the US. They tell you it's not costing you any more, that it's the same fee they're charging you. Um, but you do have to send it to the three. So it's just a little bit more work and it's a bit harder to monitor as it's being received because you've got to go in. It doesn't sit nicely down the screen like it did before if you did an oversized product and it shows us two individual shipments. This is one shipment split into three different drop-down boxes. So it's a bit catchy to sort of look everything up. But I think it's the new um, Amazon way of making us send shipments in. And I'd say a lot of people are going to go, I'm not going to do that. I'll just send one. And there's going to be a lot of people get caught out on it. Yeah, yeah. there's going to be probably uh, starting next week, you're going to see a lot of sales got hit with the uh, Amazon's enforcing mm -hmm. on this. I think the logic just uh, to, to, for Amazon's defense, the logic is that Amazon uh, heavily relies on the algorithm and, and based on the algorithm, the algorithm knows where your products and instance were going to be in demand. So it wants to make sure that the consumers have these products spread out around the US, the United States, so they can deliver their promise on one day prime shipping. So if they tell you, okay, ship eight units to uh, uh, the Northwest of uh, around Idaho, because they want that uh, people to have it there, you're going to ship those eight units. And if you need to ship the next 100, 800 units to uh, the New York area, because a lot of people, you send it there, they want you to do that split in, in the first place, because they don't want to receive it and then start making the split because it takes them longer. And it gives them more headaches. So, uh, the, in other words, you just want to make sure the algorithm wants to spread out the units equally in, uh, around the states or based on expected demand, and want you to cooperate with that with them and don't play with games with the algorithm. That's pretty much what's happening. Mm -hmm. So, there's one question from Christine. She's asking, "What if it's out of your control? Like the 3PL has an issue?" That's it. So you gotta you gotta reach out to your 3PL and make sure that. Uh, they are uh, they're they're they don't have issues because if they do and they're not going to be as uh, their performance is not going to be uh, good enough for Amazon, you might have to consider get, uh, using another one. Amazon's going to crack down hard on this because I guess over the years it cost them too much time and agony. Mm -hmm. So now they're just straightening out straightening out the lines and the the, the sellers who are professional enough to deal with these new requirements will survive and the ones that don't will, will have issues. I've noticed so usually, too. Usually that, I want um, Amazon wait. Amazon keeps on raising the bar. That's pretty much yeah. what's happening. I've noticed too, Yanni. We've had quite a few. Um, uh, you know, like it, they've missed the, the delivery promise in the last couple of months. It seems to be um, a, a lot more than we normally get. Don't you think, Mark? No, no. Yeah, but I mean, be, yeah. as long as they actually receive it, doesn't matter if it's later, they're yeah. okay with that. But as yeah, long as yeah. you don't cancel the shipment or delete it. But if you didn't ever cancel it, never delete it, but eventually it's going to be received there, you have no issues to worry about. Right, yeah. right. Okay. Okay. Okay, I didn't want to let's get too much going. carried away with this, but this is the one thing. Uh, let's go to the next one. This is a bit actually more exciting on the more positive side. Uh, so this is kind of brand new. They only announced this about 48 hours ago. Uh, it's called uh, New Seller Incentives. Okay, so uh, in a nutshell, um, they're telling you if you are a new seller or you open a brand new account, uh, uh, which you didn't have. Let's say you had a U.S. seller and you open a brand new account in the U.K. or Germany or vice versa. You're in, the U uh, you're in Europe and you're opening in the, in the U.S. In other words, if you have a brand new account, on Amazon, um, the first uh, million dollars that you can generate in revenue, they're going to give you a 5% uh, bonus or a discount on the fees. So if you do a million dollars a year, uh, up to a million dollars, and they give you 5% off, that's going to be a $50,000 uh, potential value where they're going to charge you less in fees. In other words, they want to encourage um, new sellers to come into the game and uh, and also offer new ASINs into Amazon Marketplace. And that's how they're willing to, um, to uh, reward the new sellers with these incentives. So this is brand new, just announced. I think it's exciting, it's cool, and this is gonna, this is gonna apply for this year, a year of 2022. Okay, so if you just, uh, if you, you launch your business in 2022, it's a brand new Amazon account or brand new ASINs. Um, so this is a, this is a, an incentive they have built for you. So utilize it, go hard, try to make as many sales as possible this year. And hopefully if you break a million, they're gonna get $50,000 in the 5%. But if you, even if you only do $100,000 in sales, uh, and Amazon, uh, they're going to charge you instead of 15%, uh, for example, they're going to charge you only 10%. So you have a $5,000 saving, uh, which is, I think is pretty cool. Okay. So mm -hmm. keep that in mind, guys. Yeah. 
Can we move to the next slide or any questions on this? Um, so Christine is asking, and this is, I guess, related to the previous point, and she's saying, can we expect to see a lot of suspended accounts in your opinion? Honestly, I don't know. I hope not. Um, just follow the rules. Just follow the rules. <laughs> and if, if the ones who don't follow the rules and get uh, hit with all these issues, we're going to hear about them sooner rather than later. And um, if Christine, if you saw this and you're going to take action on time, I wouldn't even worry. Just make sure you do the right thing. Okay. No more questions. Yep. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Uh, another kind of a quick update here. Another tool that we have for you guys to, to consider if you need. You can just visit katita.com forward slash FBAX. And then you're going to get basically uh, uh, access to this uh, chart that uh, this index that updates once a week. And the data on the chart is from major export cities in Southeast Asia to the most popular Amazon fulfillment centers in the United States. So as you can see, uh, about a year ago, uh, the price for a container to ship was about, about 7,000. Then uh, we had another, uh, you know, the supply chain issues and, uh, and Omicron and everything and uh, uh, and all the new, uh, the, the COVID wave and it rose all the way up to about, you know, 27,000. Then it started to cool off. And then Omicron, again, the beginning of the year, you know, raised the price again, but now it's on the decline, meaning it's getting cheaper and cheaper, which is good, but still not even close to uh, where it was about a year ago, just to show you the situation here. So you can use this index also to kind of compare prices. If you're getting quotes to ship your containers from Southeast Asia into the United States and somebody's quoting you right now, that's like, 25,000, you know, it's too expensive. So it gives you a kind of a finger on the pulse of where the prices are for a full container load, less than container load or air. Okay, you got these, uh, this chart with three, uh, this index with three uh, options here. Questions on this? this is, yeah, this is very useful. So, is this only yeah. from China, or does this also include India? And I think Vietnam it's Southeast rather? Asia. So, uh, it's Southeast Asia. So, it can be China, but also any other countries around the Southeast Asia. What I don't know technically what's considered Southeast Asia. You know probably better than I do. But what do you think? What's Southeast Asia? Is that include India? I assume also. No, no, Southeast, no Southeast Asia does not consider uh, include India. India is considered South Asia. Got it. So Southeast mm -hmm. is what Sorry. China, uh, Vietnam, Vietnam, Malaysia, yeah. Singapore. There we yeah. go. Taiwan, probably. Taiwan, yeah. Hong Kong. Yeah. Hmm. I think, but the Southeast Asia got affected the most. I think India was still a bit more affordable, and so but yeah. the trends, but the trends follow each other. So this will probably also reflect pretty well, not uh, exactly on the price, but the trend going up or down. I think they, they correlate. Uh, but this will give you at least an indicator on, on that specific zone. Uh, I'll right. try to look later on if there's another specific one for, for India uh, where I can share with you. Because we're getting this for, with our partners with uh, Fedos. Fedos is a huge company that is pretty, pretty much like a search engine for um, for shipping anything in the world. You, you tell, you go to Fedos, you tell them I want to ship uh, this this product from or this container or whatever load from point A to point uh, B in the world. It's going to find all these um, all these uh, carriers for you. All right. So uh, it's based on all this aggregated data, they're able to, um, to to provide all these cool indexes. So uh, we're, we're very proud to be in partnership with them. Yeah, um, I think Fredos does not have too many freight forwarders from India. I mean, in the past, when I've done a search in Fredos, I've always found that for India, their prices are way higher than you know what we get from from our freight forwarders. So I just think that they don't have too many. Uh, forwarders from India. Of course, they're really China focused. So we've got a couple of questions. Gail is first of all saying, man, he talks so fast. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have uh, uh, 39 minutes to load a lot of more things. So I mean, it's, all, it's like a zip file. And I got to, you know, I got to press it into you guys, but I'll, I'll try to I'll take yeah. it a bit slower. Sorry. And Gail is also asking, what about shipments to the UK? Do you have any tool on that or any insights uh, honestly uh, i just borrow this from fredo's just go to fredo's and see what they have there um mm -hmm. and if you feel as it's not enough reach out to them they're very actually very useful in actually listening to the needs of uh people and they'll probably be able to kind of start aggregating that kind of uh, data points sending for india if there's not enough uh, i'm sure they can make a push on opening up and partnering with more uh carriers in india uh it, it could be that the carriers in india are not aware of fredo so they need to kind of uh, open up the awareness for them so they can actually offer their pricing on their platform so they can have more accurate data and more uh, compassing data. Right. So no more questions. Let's keep moving. Okay. A uh, quick overview about recoveries and reimbursement before we kind of head out to the, the dashboard demo. So a high level overview. Um, this is actually relates to the question that we had on the poll. So we touch this now or later? Let's touch it now. Let's give the right answer. Yeah. So the question that we asked was um, how long do you have to um what would, what was the phrase <laughs> just let me reconcile your yeah, amazon FBA reconcile your, yeah how long yeah. do you have to reconcile your amazon fba shipments yes 
So I just give the answer. The you answer. want to give us what was yeah. the overwhelming answer by the by the audience? Okay, so the options were eighteen months, nine months, six months, and three months. And um, most people actually it's split between six and nine months. So I, it's around fifty fifty, six and nine. Some Very have good. said three as well, but six and nine are mostly the answers that people have given. So Very what's the good. correct answer, Yoni? The correct answer is right over here, six months. Six and months. it's okay. a little bit of a trick question because very recently they changed it from nine months to six months. So the point of the question is also to raise everybody's awareness. Because if, if you had the impression that you have nine months to reconcile it, uh, you don't. You have six months. So don't lose on time. So if you have anything that's getting uh, older than six months, take action and take action now because you don't have nine months anymore. Okay, make sure you get it reconciled now. And if you owe money, take action. Uh, of course, if you're a Getita user, we're going to take care of that for you anyways. Uh, but yeah, this is... Um, High level overview on the time frame just a little bit more history uh at the beginning of time with fba used to have 18 months then i think around uh 2019 amazon narrowed the window to nine months and then year 2021 of last year they narrowed it down to six months so we see that over the years the trend of the window of opportunity to take care of, 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 of reconciliation is getting more narrow and narrow and narrow and that actually why it actually makes us more I guess of a valuable solution uh, because we're always on it. If you plug into Gatita, we're always on it, so you never miss a beat. Because if you don't get everything that you order, uh, uh, you know, at the time that you're eligible to get it, uh, you kind of lose two. You lose two things. The first thing you lose is the cost of uh, your product, right? Because if Amazon lost it, you basically lost the cost of your product. But the second thing you lose, which is really important to understand, is profit. Because when Amazon pays on reimbursement, they're actually very, very kind and generous. They pay you the retail value, not the cost value. So by getting the, your, your reimbursement, you ship a double negative to a double positive. You get your cost back, but you make profit. Basically, as if you sold it on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So don't miss any opportunity to get the maximum reimbursement that you're eligible to receive. Too much of a headache, not enough time. You don't even know where to start. There's solutions out there that help with this. It happens to be the Getita with one of them. So we'll be happy to help you at any given time. Uh, okay, so that's a high level overview of the FBA measurements. If any loss and damage units inside Amazon's fulfillment centers, you got 18 months. FBA customer refund slash returns, you got 18 months. FBA removal orders, you got 18 months. But wedding dimension fees, if they overcharge you with fees, you got three months. So this is the high level overview of the name of the game. Okay. Any questions on this before I move forward? Uh, no, it's uh, Pravina is just saying bugger. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. No worry. We, we got your back if you need. Don't worry. Uh, okay, guys, let's do a demo time. So let me uh, hop in, in here and see if I can uh, log in. You guys see my uh, my window? Yeah. See, see can the, we make the dashboard? Bigger? Or not? Yeah. Can you make it bigger? Um, let me see here. Give me one second. I'm going to unshare the screen and see if I can do that before I don't want to uh, basically uh, uh, do it incorrectly. Yeah. And or you, you, can, guys. you can what? share, um, go into share and then share screen and then share Google tab. Really? Okay. Let me see that. Let me try to find it. Okay. I'll go to share slides or video file or screen share. Uh, screen share, share screen. Okay. Share screen. And then uh, Chrome tab. Then oh, that's Chrome cool. Tab, yeah. Oh, wow. This is cool. Okay. All right. Very cool. Okay. You guys see it now? Yes. Is it bigger or? Yeah. That's um, a bit better, but is it possible to make it any bigger? Um, let's see here. Okay. I'll also make it full screen. So I'll remove us from the screen. So, okay. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Got it. Okay, so welcome yeah. to the Gatita demo. I'll give you a, a quick overview on the, on the dashboard, but then we'll go and uh, go into the nitty gritty of the FBA uh, inbound shipments. So we'll, um, this is a Gatita demo dashboard, but it's actually based on a real account. Uh, so as soon as you go into the Gatita account, it's going to show you the last 30 days of, uh, of the activity. As you can see here, we filed 199 cases. We had 100% success rate. We got more than $3,000 back in reimbursements. We're still looking into $21,000 worth of discrepancies. Um, and here you see overview of, uh, uh, you know, every case, but, uh, what I wanted to focus today is inbound shipments. You can go to this module, click here. Let's see if it works. When I click it, connection is a little tired today. Let's give it a moment. There we go. Okay. So once uh, you go into inbound shipments, um, it actually, I'm going to zoom out a little bit to make it a bit nicer. Uh, it gives you free shipment kind of the overview of what's going on in real time. So it's another dashboard within the dashboard. 
Okay, so uh, it tells you initially what's going on, and uh, you can actually prioritize based on potential value. So you know, oh, this says shipments, uh, there's a two thousand dollars worth of um, you know uh, discrepancies, and they need documents. So it gives you kind of an overview. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it simple because I don't want to overcomplicate things. But if I scroll down a bit, I find a few interesting things. Okay, one thing is an overview of all the shipments on this account from the beginning of times, which is uh, over seven thousand shipments that had an issue about over two thousand shipments that we reviewed nine hundred ninety two. Shipment with claims about 418. Okay, so far simple. Now I'm gonna to move to the middle column. Okay, claimable shipments that require documents. It's worth about 46,000. So we have about $46,000 worth of uh, shipments and value to, to kind of review. So a seller can just click here on this number. It's gonna, uh, you're gonna be able to uh, get a, a, a spreadsheet uh, which will break down each shipment. Basically, you're gonna see all of this dashboard and a spreadsheet, okay? Uh, if you click this button. But then there's two types of documents that Amazon um, might require or will probably require from the sellers. OK, I'm going to start with from the bottom here and then I'll focus on this one. OK, uh, if you ship a thousand units to Amazon and let's say they uh, only received 190. So 10 units are missing. They might. So the first. Uh, so this potential document they're going to ask you for can be um, the first one or the first version or issue uh, can be the open uh, open proof of delivery. In other words, POD proof of delivery. They're going to tell you, okay, you want us to look into these 10 missing units? Send us a document that, you know, you actually delivered these products to us, right? So give us the proof of delivery. Typically, the proof of delivery is a bill of lading that has a stamp, okay, Amazon stamp. Because once you, they, uh, Amazon receives your, uh, your inventory in the warehouse, they stamp it, it has an Amazon logo on it. So a stamp BOL is, uh, you know, it's, it's great. You give us a document, you can email it to us. We're going to submit it to Amazon, and they're going to look into, into that uh, issue uh, with the missing 10 units. Because if you don't deliver the documents, it's simply not going to review the issue. So keep that in mind. So this is the first type of document. Okay. One small note. If you're using Amazon's partner carriers, in other words, using Amazon's platform to ship in, they're not going to ask you for a proof of a delivery. Okay. Because it's already in their system. They're only going to ask you for proof of delivery if you're using a carrier that is not in their ecosystem. Okay. So let's say you're shipping from India to the U.S. and you look at, you're using an Indian carrier that's not partnered with Amazon. That's okay. Not a problem. They will ship it to FBA, Amazon will receive it, and they're going to have a BOL document. They're going to stamp it. That is what Amazon needs. Okay, keep that in mind. Say the same thing applies to any other carrier that is not within Amazon's ecosystem. Okay, so that's the first kind of document, just to clarify on the breakdown. Fine. On this type of document, uh, however, uh, we have we have a, a, a nice feature for you guys. Okay, so the second type of document will be the open proof of purchase request. In other words, POP, proof of purchase. So a proof of purchase can be two options. The first immediate obvious option is, ladies and Kevin, help me. Proof of purchase can be in an invoice, right? You yeah, yeah. Purchase order. Out. Yeah, I exactly. know, yeah. uh, an invoice. The purchase order is an invoice. Okay. And then they give you an invoice and you pay. So okay. the first option is an invoice. So if you do that, if you're a private label seller, you give Amazon an invoice, uh, that's a proof of purchase, that can be fine. But if you are a private label seller, which I believe most of the people here are listening and watching this are, Instead of an invoice, you can give them a packing slip, okay? Because you're the private label seller, you're a brand owner, you have brand registry. Instead of that, you're eligible to give them a packing slip. So if you want to give them a packing slip instead of an invoice, we created this. It's called Doc Master. So Doc Master is a is a is a module that we created that basically helps you within a few clicks. It's just uh, you know to, to generate the packing slip. Uh, uh, so you, you know Amazon will have it uh, in the way they like it, the way they want to see it. And it's very easy to, to, to create. You don't have to go back and look and get confused and waste a lot of hours. It's all built, built into the system. So let me try to share with you. Um, give me one second. Uh, view tab. What am I doing here? Nope. Uh, stop sharing. I'm going to share the other tab. Let me see if I got it right. Sorry, guys. All right. Let me see. Uh-huh. Not sure what I did. To, oh, exit full screen. Let me do uh, this other one. Can be logged in. Okay, guys, one second. Okay, I'm back in. Let me share the screen again. Let's see if I got this. I share. I say uh, screen, then Chrome tab, and then you get to the Doc Master. Cool. Okay, guys. So. Um, all right, so I was here. I click on the red button. It's going to open Doc Master. It's going to look like this. So it's going to have all the shipments here, right? And then 
uh, it's going to prioritize it by expiration date. This is one is uh, the soonest that's about to expire, and then the furthest away that's about to expire. C keep in mind you have six months. So the system will automatically uh, pull up, push up the ones that are about to expire, so we can take immediate action, right? So you can simply just click here, and then the, you'll see uh, you have all the information here. All the information. So all you got to do for the first shipment, when you set up DocMaster, uh, you're going to ship, uh, you're going to put your company information. You should put the same company information that is listed on your Amazon account. Uh, if you're not sure what it is, just Google your Amazon account name and you visit your Amazon storefront, you'll see the exactly exact company name and then uh, your address, your city, everything. You put your company logo. Over here, uh, the system will automatically take all your all the relevant information about the shipment. And then you're going to be able to put your first name, your last name and your signature. OK, um, but also you're going to be able to edit the quantities. So if, let's say, uh, for example, this shipment has 144 units, but if you know that instead of 144 units, you only shipped 140 units, this is your last chance to update, okay, to, to adjust that. And uh, once you do, it's fine. Let's say you want to adjust it to 140, you adjust it to 140, you save, okay, and then you can just click create packet slip and you're done. And then we have the packet slip that we need, okay? And after you did it the first time, it's going to save it for the rest of the shipments. So uh, if I go here, for example, after the first shipment, you want to go to the second shipment, you're not going to have to uh, put the company information in the logo. It's already going to be saved over there. So this way you can just click this and another click you have already and click all these down and you have all the all the documents that are needed for packing slips. So imagine if all these shipments you got to provide packing slips. Imagine you have to go to your, you know, to your carrier or to your team and figure out where it is and this and that. It takes you a gazillion amount of hours. You're probably never going to do it. But instead, you can just go into DocMaster. You can click any shipment and within a click, it generates the document that you need the packing slip and keep in mind the packing slip is a, a declaration of ownership all you're doing is basically telling amazon this is my company information let's go back so you can see so this is my company information this is my company logo this is who i am this is the shipment information and this is the shipment uh, you know that there's a quantity that i ship and this is my name this is my signature and that's your declaration of ownership and you're allowed to do that because you're a private label seller with the brand registry so you're taking responsibility you own it no nobody else owns it that's all kind of Amazon is expecting from you in order for them to just start investigating where are the missing 10 units. So I hope this wasn't too much and too fast. If it is, let me know. I'll, I'll repeat the whole thing. So guys, let us know what did you think about this? Did you get it? Any questions? Uh, for somebody who's not using Gatita, I guess it would be, you know, they might have questions. So Mark, you've been using this, right? I love it. Absolutely love yeah. it. Like, um, if I had to go and find all the packing slips that the Gatita have done for me in the last, you know, three months or however many it's been running, I, I probably wouldn't bother. I mean, it's lots and lots of dollars that you've recovered, but it would be so much work. But, I mean, once this is set up, it's just like I get an email saying, I need you to authorise this packing slip. Bang, I do it. And the next couple of days later, it's been, you know, recovered and I get a notification. So, yeah, I think it's just... A game changer and i mean for those people that are selling you know like a thousand units a month or something with huge shipments it must be uh, you'd know you only how many people get thousands of dollars today back. i share with you that mm -hmm. i had a meeting where um on one account they had 2.2 million dollars that i needed uh reconciliation on just on the inbound shipments 2.2 yeah. million and then they had to generate a few hundred documents and they mm -hmm. didn't know where to find their arms and legs so the fact that we have this visibility first of all they, they knew how much they're owed or how much they need to, to reconcile and they can also prioritize you know with the shipments that are worth the most to the to the one that are worth the least uh because you get all that visibility so because if i go back here you're able to go and say hey let me start with the ones that are worth the most money so i can start with this one and this one and this one and just prioritize your time it gives you visibility for each shipment of what is the potential value that's a and then if you if documents are needed instead of going back and managing all the back and forth and you just go into Doc Master and boom, you have it all. Is it with a few clicks, create a packet slip and you're done. So it, it, the, the bottom line, it saves you uh, a gazillion amount of hours, but it also ensures that you get everything that you owe and you're eligible to receive. That's kind of the, the bottom line story with the Doc Master and the magic it creates with all the flow. It just saves you the, the, the trouble, it saves you the headache, and 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 also make sure that you recover all, all you know everything that you owe. Because right now, if you're not providing all these documents and re re reconciling all these shipments, you're getting nothing. And like I said, you lose two things. You lose your cost because you source from India. You source and you went through a whole headache just to source it. You ship it and units got lost. So you lost all that cost and all the time investment. And you also lose your profit because if you were to take action 
and you use DocMaster and you provide the, the relevant documentation, Amazon reconciles it and they pay your reimbursement, you get your cost back and you make profit because you get the retail value. So the swing is pretty dramatic. And hopefully once you get that reimbursement, you get all that extra cash, you make profit on it, you use it to keep sourcing more and keep the, you know, fueling your business and the growth. That's kind of the, 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 the message we wanted to relate to the sellers here that there's opportunity to get more out of your Amazon business, more cash flow, and use it to keep growing and moving forward. Right. Yeah, it's certainly no brainer. Yeah. Yeah. We've got one question from Christine. Does Amazon have access to this information or do you supply it only when something is missing? Only when something is missing. And then Amazon basically goes ahead and tells you, okay, it's missing. I want you to give me these documentations so I, I can investigate. And of course, if I investigate it and I see that you're eligible to get a reimbursement, I'll pay you. So this is by Amazon's demand. So right now the sellers, if you don't use a platform like Atita, they have to go to each, you know, to the Amazon seller central account, to each shipment, see what's going on. It doesn't tell you the value of each one. You have to kind of calculate it. Instead, we kind of did all the work for you. We go to our dashboard, you get immediate visibility, you see the value of each one. And of course, if documents are needed, we're able to generate them on the spot. Instead of going and looking for them or making them or asking your carrier, just breaking your head for each shipment. Because I just showed you an example where there's uh, how many, uh, there's 358 shipments. And this is common, this is fine. In six months, there was 358 shipments because it's the past six months, there was Q4, there was December, right? Yeah, it's Christmas. A lot of shipments went through the system. They need to be reconciled and it becomes a material because if it's reconciled properly, there's a potential to recover $46,000. So imagine you don't do that and all this $46,000 just fades away. That's kind of, that's what's going on here, basically. Yeah, Christine, if you're not yeah, shipping, absolutely. what happens is, you know, you might send in, I don't know, 185 items, but Amazon might only check in 180, for instance. So, and that might happen on you know, probably, I don't know, what, 50% of the shipments, you only, you'd probably see more than me. But I mean, I find that a lot of my shipments, they, even though I know they're perfect, because it might be eight in a box, and they'll tell me I'm missing three. Well, you know, we haven't got any half boxes. So, um, but you know, for me to go every week and check that, and then go and find all that paperwork that's now needed. I mean, it, it'd just be so much work. Um, you know, and I'm only small, it's the bigger people that, you know, but you can't afford when you've got even, you know, two products, you can't afford to lose 10 products on every shipment. Right. Um, so let's so, look yeah. over here. So high level statistics, if, if I can butt in here, you see there's close yeah, yeah, to 8,000 sure. shipments on the left side, you see inbound shipment progress report. So there's about 7,893 shipments of which shipments that had issues about 2,221. So more than 25% of the shipments in this particular account had an issue. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. each, each, not every account is created equally, but for mm -hmm. this uh, actual account, more than 25% of the shipments had an issue. The total value that it still needs to be reconciled is $46,000. $46,000 needs attention. If you don't give it the attention and reconcile it, that $46,000, boom, is gone forever. That is the impact the here. Great thing about Gatita is that you track all of this, right? It's not like sellers have to, uh, you know, sit down and look at each of their shipments and yeah and, just to get this kind of figure things we'll take out. you yeah we'll take you endless amount of hours and efforts and send everything that's going on yeah. across the board in your account and what's the value of each shipment you just don't get you have to calculate your own you have to take a calculator oh it's uh 23 units are missing times i'm trying to sell for ten dollars or 230 dollars for this shipment and another shipment all these calculations all this visibility it's built in for you that's the first layer of value but of course the second layer of value if you need help with um with documentation you just you, boom use uh you click on the right here in doc master and you just generate it that's kind of the, the idea. Yeah. It's brilliant. Guess, you know, yeah, especially. I think it's brilliant. And look, for those of you who aren't signed up to it, I have no idea why you don't, because it's free <laughs> and you're getting absolutely nothing back now unless you're spending hours trying to recover some money. Um, but, you know, you sign up and actually you, know, you haven't told them how much your cheap fee is or how, it's not a fee. How much do you Yeah, want it's to free. Just to get access to the dashboard in Georgia Gatita, free. Doesn't cost a penny. Doesn't matter your size, your age, your anything. We're an equal opportunity uh, auditor. It's all open, so you're invited to come. And only if we, if you uh, basically want us to uh, file claims for you and, and manage uh, reimbursements, only if we get you reimbursed, you you char we charge you a fee. We charge you 25% fee. So let's say the next 30 days we get you $100 in reimbursements. We charge you 25%, which would be $25. But let's say the next month we get you zero dollars, you pay zero dollars. So it's free to join and it's free to stay. It's purely performance based. So another thing to consider is it doesn't have to be us or you doing it. It can be together. We encourage the sellers to do as much as they can on their own to get everything that they owed, do it. And of course, anything that you left behind is still not addressed or, you know, uh, and it's still uh, owed to you. We'll make sure to cash that 
and bring it back to your pocket. And only if we're successful doing it, only then we're going to get it rewarded. So we're very customizable. We can be us backing your team. Okay, so you keep your team. Uh, even if you have another provider and you like him, keep him. Whatever they're missing, we'll catch and bring it back to your pocket. And that's kind of the Gatina magic that uh, that um, is, that's the opportunity for you just to have more in your pocket because you made a simple decision. Just you know, join us. Yeah, yeah. and, and guys, anyone make sure. Yeah. Go. No, I was just saying, make sure that you use the link that we have. Uh, this link that's displayed on the screen. I see that Gail is saying she just signed up, uh, but make sure you use this link because you get four hundred dollars worth of reimbursements for free. So you don't have to pay the twenty five percent commission to Gatita for your first four hundred. So make sure that you use this link. Yep. Okay. Yeah, that's it. yeah. Yeah. That's a guarantee. You're gonna have four hundred dollars more in your pocket. It might take us a few days or a few weeks to get you this four hundred dollars, but that's a guarantee. You have it in your pocket after four hundred dollars. If you want to leave us, it's okay. You can leave. If you want to stay, you can stay. The idea, once again, is to make sure they have more value. Uh, you know, we just increase the value of your business. Yeah. No. And for those people that have been selling for a while, might be in for a surprise too, Yoni. Yeah. If you're selling, yeah. yeah. We yeah. If you were selling for a while now, we actually can go up to eighteen months back in your account. So we might hit two Christmases: yeah. Christmas of twenty twenty one, yeah. Christmas of twenty twenty. And bring you back money from the dead you never expected to have. That's a yeah. beautiful thing. And once again, take that money and keep growing your exactly. business. But I feel like Margaret is trying to say something. We're always butting into her. So yeah. go ahead, Margaret. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say that I did a post and I don't know whether everyone's read it. Um, and somebody I know had never or didn't know about Katita and I mentioned it. And I said, if you go in, you might get some decent money back because she's been selling for a couple of years. And I got a message one Friday night. I've got Friday night drinks. I just got back $1,000. Um, which, you know, like, I mean, she didn't have, and if we hadn't had the discussion, she still wouldn't have it. Um, and of that, because she got the $400 free, I think it only cost her $150 or something in a fee to get back $1,000. So she ended up with, you know, 850 bucks in the bank on a Friday night. So she had Friday night drinks. So, yeah, well, um, happy, you know. Happy to sponsor the, you know, the, the happiness <laughs> of drinks. <laughs> Shut so, Shut you know, yeah. Hey, thanks, Saturday morning, though, Yoni. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the hangover stuff is on you guys. If you get a hangover from all these drinks, that's you know we don't. Work. You know, what? I'll buy you the, the Advil. I don't know if you guys have Advil in Australia and Singapore, but I'm going to sponsor the one dollar pill. No problem. That's in the house. So a couple of questions. Christine is asking if you're not selling yet, should you still create an account? Um, we really. could. Once again, it's free, so it's up to you. So once you you're shipping uh, inventory in and you're getting all these transactions in, we'll be on your side. Um, up to you. Uh, you you need to have your Amazon account open though, Christine, because you need to give Gatita access to the back end of your account because they go into the back end. So unless you've got your Amazon account up and running, it won't work. Correct. So yeah, you can only. Uh, we, we don't need you to connect physically with us as a human. We need to connect your Amazon account. Yeah. So as long as you have an Amazon account, which is a professional account, which has access to MWS token, meaning API, we'll be able to connect it. Uh, so when you're ready, when you are, so you can be before you start selling, as you start selling, uh, a few months after you start selling. Uh, I wouldn't do it more than six months after, but like I mentioned, because that's when the time frame of shipments uh, will begin to expire. So I would say up just to be on the safe side. After six months when you uh, started selling, that's your time for it to, to join. Don't do it after six months. You could, but it's a good, uh, it's a good chance that you're going to lose out on some money that it's owed to you. That's all. Yeah. That's cool. great. That's awesome. So, Yoni, did you have anything else on your slides? Uh, a little bit more if you guys uh, have a stamina. I don't know if the stamina of the court yeah, is exhausted or not. Yeah, okay. No, it's yeah. not exhausted at all. Let's go for it. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's here. late for you. You must be tired. <laughs> nah, I'm okay. You woke me up. You definitely woke me up. You're energizing. So <laughs> <I'm definitely laughs> <right. laughs> okay, so uh, no, I wanted to do share screen, and then I wanted to do Chrome tab, and then I wanted to do the uh there it is presentation and i'm gonna present in a moment boom okay we're gonna skip a little bit uh, to the forward here i think we did all these i'm gonna yeah. jump okay after demo time becomes uh, some more free tools for amazon sellers so uh, basically um if you want you can uh, just uh get a package of three things you just visit um actually just getita.com forward slash ebook you don't need this online but if you even do online it's going to get to the same place you're going to get a package of three things. The first thing you're going to get is an ebook about how to read an Amazon income statement. Um, you see, and then the second thing you're going to get is a, a, a profit and loss template. You can use it for, uh, for your business. 
So of course you are able to put all the Amazon costs, but also the entire business costs. It could be sourcing, it could be uh, uh, parking tickets. If you live in in uh, Sydney, Australia, where there's a lot of uh, traffic issues, uh, and you drive there for your business meetings or uh, VAT, sales tax, everything across the board, your profit loss template. And then the third template is the winning dimension. So you can be able to um, keep track of your uh, winning dimension uh, on your every, every ASIN. So of course, if there's a change in Amazon's overcharging you, you can be able to catch that ahead of time. So this is kind of the, the free tools you can just, uh, you know, uh, feel free to log in and download and enjoy. Uh, all right, so let's see the next uh, thing here. All right, I think I got the wrong. Uh, Stop sharing. I keep on getting confused with I have so many uh, tabs you're open. I'm just going to share the full screen. <laughs> I'll make it easier for myself. There we go. And it should be easier. Okay. All right. So quick note, uh, notice about uh, refunds, uh, high level. Um, just so you know, guys, the FBA discrepancies can range between 1% to 3% from your annual FBA revenue. So if you do 100000 a year on Amazon FBA, 1% to 3% could be one to $3,000, right? Or if you do a million dollars, it could be ten to thirty thousand, and on and on it goes. So in other words, for every one hundred units you ship to FBA, good chance that between one to three units will have an issue. That's why you should, uh, you know, stay attentive to these issues. Like I said, you have up to eighteen months to um, to recover the funds, so do not miss out. And of course, if you need to reply with cases with Amazon asking more documentation, make sure you do. That's the whole idea of DocMaster. But if you're wondering why you might still need help with Amazon FBA auditing, so take a look. This is the further things that we look into. So if any of these issues look foreign to you and very unfamiliar, it probably means that you're leaving money behind. So it gives you an idea of the more of the scope that we look into. But here I want to quickly discuss um, a case study of um, to see really what's the bottom line impact of, um, of good auditing, right? So we have a seller here that does about 18 million a year. They sold about 300,000 units. 9,000 units got affected, which is 2.8% discrepancy rate. We helped them to recover $151,000, which pushed the bottom line by about 11%. Because before Gatita, the profit was $1.3 million, and we added $151,000, and boom, the profit line, uh, the profit margin increased by almost 11%. So it's very, very big impact on the bottom line, which is very nice. But also keep in mind that there's more impact if you're trying to sell your business or if you're buying an Amazon business. Because if you're trying to sell your Amazon business, it's very popular right now. There's a lot of aggregators. You know, these big, big organizations that raise a lot of money and they want to buy your Amazon business. And when they buy Amazon business, effectively, they're buying your profit, your EBITDA. So if you're able to go back 18 months and add 151000 to your profit, and they're going to pay, let's say, a 5x multiple, because the multiple is basically when they buy Amazon business, say, okay, if you made a, a, a dollar in profit, we're going to pay you $5 for every dollar of profit you generated. That's your multiple. So if, you made, if you're going to negotiate and get a 5x multiple and you're able to add $151,000 to your profit, all of a sudden, you're going to get, boom, times five. It's $750,000 extra in your pocket on, on your way out when you sold your business. Very, very impactful. So keep that in mind, guys. But also, if you bought, bought an Amazon business, if you bought an Amazon business and you're able to go back 18 months and get uh, uh, reimbursements, and uh, basically, it's a gift that the seller kept to you or gave to you because they failed to do that before they sold it to you. So keep that in mind. So many of the aggregators, that's what they do. They buy your Amazon account. They go back 18 months. And and they use Gitita, many of them, and then they get all the all the reimbursement that you left for them, and that makes it a better return on investment for them, a better ROI. So it's a sophisticated financial game or feature that um, the big players and professional players use. So make sure you be a professional. Just you know, make sure you get the maximum that you owed, uh, and so you can have the best uh, financial impact on on your bottom line results. So that's a quick case study, and this is what uh, Megla mentioned earlier, and the uh, uh, the MMK team. Uh, you just visit the getita.com forward slash VISS 400 and the first $400 we're going to get for you will be free. We're not going to charge you a penny so you can try us out. And that's pretty much it. If you have uh, more questions, you can just feel, feel free to reach out to me directly. This is my email address, yoniamagetita.com. You can also visit the website. We have a chat uh, chat option. You can chat with our team. They're pretty much very friendly. Um, let me just uh, stop sharing. And that's kind of it. That's uh, that's uh, most of what oh, I have in my, uh, my article Yoni. today. Yeah. Thank you. And you did, Yanni, yeah, you talk fast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, you, you would expect me to slow down at uh, 11 uh, p.m., right? Uh, something's in the tea. Something's very strong in the tea. I don't know. It's extra, extra yeah, strong. what are you drinking? <laughs> we need some, some of what you're drinking. <laughs> this is uh, black tea with mint. This is uh, what I live. Uh, I, this, if you uh, take a blood sample of me, this is what you find inside this tea. This is oh. uh, this will run through my veins. I, this is uh, my blood type already. Um, I, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink juice. I just drink the tea and water, and I keep yeah. it simple. I try to avoid like soft drinks. 
Awesome. Hey, well, Megla, is Yoni going to be? Awake. Gail is in yeah. the UK. So, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. it's like almost, what, 2 o'clock or something over there now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. Kev, what were you saying? Oh, I was just going to say, is Yoni going to be in Delhi in October? Yeah, Yoni, are you coming with us on India sourcing trip? October 2022. Oh no, let me see. October what? Tell me. Uh, let me open my calendar. <laughs> October 11th. October. October 11th. Yeah, so 11th, 12th. Oh, no. 12th to 19th. That's the. Those are the trip dates. Oh, 12th to the 19th. Yeah. It's uh, interesting. We have a Jewish holiday called Sukkot. Ever heard of Sukkot? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have. It's a, ho a holiday where we sit, sit in a hut for uh, about eight days. And we commemorate yeah. the, the huts that our ancestors um, lived in. So when the, the nation of Israel uh, got out of Egypt, they wandered in the desert for 40 years. And in the desert, they didn't have homes. So they had huts. They built all these huts. So we do the same thing like they did in the desert thousands of years ago. So that's, uh, you know, there's Pizza Hut. We have Sukkah Huts uh, <laughs> during the holiday. Um, so, yeah, that's family time. That's when we actually get some time off and spend the family. family. So uh, I do apologize. But I was actually, it's funny, I was just at the, yesterday, uh, we're getting back um, from Wyoming. Uh, we went to Wyoming Jackson Hall. Uh, we actually, there was a, a kind of a unique sell event there. We're actually with Amazon sellers and it was a ski resort. So we ski with the sellers. We we, uh, we talked to the sellers. We live with the sellers. It's pretty interesting. But on the way back, we felt like, you know, we, we feel like, you know, it was, it was cool. But something about India, we feel like we, we want to visit India. It's funny, me and my CEO, Eitan Wiener, is like, we're talking about India, how we would like to go visit there very soon because, we were in London a few weeks ago, and then went to Mexico, went to Wyoming, went to Las Vegas. For some reason, uh, um, India came up in the conversation, so it's something that we do uh, um, have in our, our plans to to go to. So hopefully, when the stars align properly, Megla, we'll come visit you. Um, uh, oh, yeah, well, visit we with you in twice, India. Twice, twice, you're Yoni, it's twice twice a year. It's at March, April, because sometimes the dates can be the end of March. Or April, even, but definitely there October. Yeah, yeah, as soon so, as you have it, just yeah. keep us uh, informed. We'll be happy to sponsor, help, and even yeah. be even yeah, more yeah. glad to to join physically and uh, explore India because it's, it's yeah, fascinating. Good right. Yeah, and in fact, we're going to yeah, be doing absolutely. other types of trips as well. You know, apart from the main two trips that we do throughout the year. So yeah, we could maybe do like a private trip for you or something. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. Uh, Christine McVie, McVie uh, she's asking if we're selling a share in your company. It looks brilliant. Email us. Email us later on if you uh, if you're from venture capital, private equity, or you know somebody in them. Uh, feel free to reach out. But uh, for now, no, we're still private, and uh, we're just um, you know uh, a group of people that are just focused on helping sellers as much as we can, and this is as far as we we can do right now. Excellent. Funny guy, but very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's 3 a.m. for Gail. Oh. Absolutely. <laughs> She's amazing. Good yeah, Gail is amazing. Okay, we got a couple of questions from Vanessa. Uh, do we have to upload any documents or do you automatically get that info? Uh, okay. To get to to tell you what documents are needed, we do it for you. So you don't have to go to every shipment and try to break your head. We do that for you. So, so it saves you a gazillion amount of hours and headaches. But we're going to need your assistance with providing these documents. So if it's a, a proof a proof of delivery POD, it's up to you to email it to us. Nothing much we can do there. But if it's a proof of purchase, you can provide a packing slip and you can use DocMaster. So you just go into the system in a few clicks. We have what we need and it's off to the races. I hope that explains everything. Again, it's kind of a recap. Yeah. And it's all automated, right? It's not like, yeah. or and do you Vanessa. actually have people... No, we have people. Yeah, we definitely. When we receive the documents, we review everything. We have people. Okay. We have actually an army of people. Many of them are former Amazon employees who used to work in those departments. So they review it, make sure it looks great, the, the way Amazon needs to, to, review, to see it and needs to understand it. Because keep in mind, if you don't kind of mold into Amazon's um, document uh, expectations, you might go back and, uh, you know, create all these documents and look for them and send them over. But there's documents the way they're laid out and, and set up. Amazon doesn't understand anything. You just get rejected. So we kind of kind of solve every everything for you. So it's it's, it's streamlined. It's all in the system. A few clicks. We have what we need, or Amazon needs rather, and it saves you all that time and headache, and you get what you need, which is the reimbursement. Yeah, and just okay. for people who haven't used it before, what they actually do is they create a case for you. So where your case log is, case log is, 
their email will come up instead of yours. And sometimes I can see where Amazon's rejected it and they've gone back like a dog with a bone. No, we want reimbursement. And they go back again. And you think, gee whiz, they really do work hard to get my money. I mean, you know, I couldn't complain. It's just brilliant. Yeah, the, the thing is sometimes Amazon might reject the issue because it could be a new teammate. Maybe the, the teammate is in a rush to get launched. So they're not really focusing on the mathematics. So they might just say no. So if you're a typical seller, okay, no means no. But for us, it's not really the way. We're actual auditors and we're focused on the, on, on the math, meaning minus one. If we can see a minus one, we present a minus one to Amazon and the reply is vague and that's why it's rejected. We said, no, hold on. Here's the information again. Okay, maybe we explain it a different way. So they can really understand, oh, this is a minus one. So typically they say, oh, we apologize. Here's your reimbursement. So we convert a rejected case into a paid case and that's huge. That's power. That's how you we kind of make sure that you get everything that you deserve because it's it's based on mathematics, not about feelings, not about emotions, just about being professional and focusing on the on, on the numbers. Right. We've got another question from Vanessa. I have a little problem with dimensions on one of my products, a high selling product. Do you put in cases for that too? Yes, we do. So I didn't want to overcomplicate today because I want to give you an easy night, but uh, I'm going to share the dashboard again. <laughs> give me yeah, a second. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, so you guys see the Katita demo dashboard? Yep. So if you look on the left side, yeah. we have another mo module. It's called Pick and Pack. If you just click it, you'll be able to see that you'll be able to manually input the winning dimensions for each one. You click Save. Or if you have a lot of ASINs, you can just export a table and then upload the file. And once you upload the file, you give us your winning dimensions. In other words, you give us the data. We're going to cross-reference it with Amazon. If we see that Amazon is overcharging you, we'll take action. We'll open a case on your behalf. And make sure to accomplish two things. The first thing is to make sure that going forward, Amazon corrects the fee so they stop the bleeding. The second thing we do, we we, uh, we make sure you get reimbursed for the past 90 days for the overcharges. So if you're in the past 90 days, they overcharge you, let's say $5,000, we're going to get that for you. Okay, so two two, two things we got to do. Make sure you they, they stop overcharging you so you pay the correct fees and go back 90 days and get you that recovery. So that's kind of um, what we're able to do here. And we have a module for that as well. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so guys, let us know if you have any questions. Okay, we've got one more question. What are the reasons you don't get refunded? I've had uh, quite a few short, but I have not received anything back. You need Gatita. <laughs> yeah, like I said, it might be that it's, you're too late. Maybe it's too late. You just uh, submitted, you have six months and you uh, you uh, you submitted it seven months after. So you missed the time timeline. Or the way you presented it, they just don't understand what you want. They just, you know, say this happened, that happened, this happened. And because of this, I think that happened. The way you present it, so they can't understand anything. So just say, you know what? No. Simple as that, right? So the idea is that we just simplify the whole process for you and for Amazon. We kind of bridge the gap. So it makes it also it helps Amazon. So instead of well, you know working all these cases, not understanding anything, and it's a lot of back and forth, we minimize that. So it's a touch and go. They see it, they understand the data. It's all very accurate. They give you what you were, you were, were eligible and they move on. So this gives them also a gazillion amount of hours as well. Uh, that's kind of the idea there. So Facebook users are saying, I have got them. So do you mean Gatita has not been able to get it or have you got them now? Yeah, but maybe it's not that long ago. If it's only a couple of weeks, oh, you don't do it the yeah. next week, Gioni. It's three months or something before you can claim it, isn't it? They have to reconcile. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so here's more about the premise of things. So. Uh, Amazon technically will automatically reimburse you for everything that you owed, and they need about 30 days for that. After 30 days, if you look into their terms of service, they tell you after 30 days, you, the seller, need to audit us. And of course, if, we, if we're eligible for it, we're going to pay the reimbursement. That's when we come into the solution to help out. That's the premise. So A, it might be that Amazon rejected. They might have told you that it's too early. We're about to refund you anyway. So wait, it could be that. Uh, but also, if you're already a Gatita user, Right, and you just joined. Um, let's uh, we're gonna go back 18 months, and once you go back 18 months, we're gonna start from the oldest to the newest, okay? And it's, it's gonna be two phases. The phase one is the cleanup, the 18 cleanup. It can take a few weeks, and then it goes to phase two where we uh, clean month to month. Um, so if something came short or we didn't touch yet, it's because it's coming. We're not gonna blast in one day all these cases to Amazon to clean up 18 months. We're gonna drip it in from the oldest to the newest. Hopefully that also kind of explains a little bit about the flow. Yeah. So let us know if you have any more questions. We'll start wrapping up here. Um, I don't see any more questions over here. Vanessa is just saying, sounds great. 
Um, yeah, that was actually yeah. Robin. She just messaged me that did that message, but um, I'll have a look at her with her and see if she needs to contact someone at Katita because she said she's never ever had a reimbursement back, but I'll, I'll look into that with her on screen. Um, yeah, and okay. to, just another thing I'm going to say is I love to know how you find the ones that are lost in the warehouse because I often think they've recovered one in the warehouse. How in the hell do they know I've lost one in the warehouse? <laughs> in mathematics, honestly, it's it's all mathematics. We, <laughs> we download all the sets of reports in the past 18 months and just tie it all together. And then we see if uh, bottom line, it's uh, for every ASIN, by the way. Think about it this way. For every unit, unit you ship into FBA, our technology is like a shadow or like a bodyguard that tracks and monitors every movement. So if there's a movement that doesn't have a good explanation, uh, you, all of a sudden you had it one day and next day you don't have it. If it didn't get sold, if it didn't get removed or anything like that, what happened to it? Did it get lost? Did it get damaged? What's going on? So we're going to open a case with Amazon and if they're going to look into it and say, you're right, it simply got lost, here's your reimbursement. That's just oversimplifying what we're doing, but it's for every single unit that you're shipping it to, to Amazon FBA but across the board for all of our users. So we're doing billions of dollars worth of transactions every day. That's kind of the power of technology that's able to audit so much amount of, amount of data. Uh, that's kind of the, the proprietary thing that we created internally. Uh, we're doing this for the past seven years and it just um, our ability to go deeper and deeper and more intimate with the data and, and find all these opportunities uh, gets be better and bigger and more uh, deep over time. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, that's on us to do, right, uh, Margaret? Yep, no, it's great. I, I just think it's amazing. But I love how you do it. I just keep going. God, I would never have known you'd lost 10, pop, 10 items, in my opinion. Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah Robin's going to go back. She, oh, it's all right. Robin's messaging me about her lost stuff with stuff with Amazon. Yeah, maybe Robin <laughs> needs to get in touch with Yoni. Yeah, yeah if I'm uh, reach out, I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll be happy to uh, explain everything that's going on. Or uh, if you want to join and, and, and stuff like that, yeah, I'll be happy right. to uh -huh. connect you with our team to, to set you up. But yeah, if you lost inventory and you're, uh, you're, you're confused, you don't know what's going on, we'll definitely be happy to help as well. Awesome. Well, Yoni, thank you so much for joining us today That's and great. giving all of this information and especially talking about DocMaster. It, it really is, um, you know, very, very efficient way of getting money back from Amazon. And uh, we also want to thank Gatita and you for being the partner of our month. Uh, partner of the month for um, March. And uh, yeah, we really appreciate it. And we, we, we love to promote companies like Gatita because we know that you guys really help Amazon sellers and it's, it's you know, in the benefit of our community members to join Gatita. So yeah, we really thank you uh, for that. Thank you guys. Keep up the good work. This is, uh, I, I like to say, holy work. You're helping right. people find, you know, financial independence and freedom. Uh, and it's a community effort. It's a beautiful thing. So keep up the good work. I uh, really salute everybody for your hard efforts. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. All right. So thank you, thank everybody, you. for joining us. Um, and uh, we will see you thank in you. Uh, the next couple of weeks um, with Virtual India Sourcing Show. Mm -hmm. uh, that's April 7th. All right. Take care, Take Yoni. Care, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Mark. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Take care, Yoni. Bye. Thanks, Bye. Bye.